everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're reacting to um, Bridge of of a Caledorian of Doom. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, yes, I'm skipping a little bit of the intro because I don't want to get a copyright claim because um, of the intro. Because again, Canada strict copyright laws. Anyways, I do not own Thomas and Friends. Um, Mattel owns everything. Let's get started. Down Edwards Branch Line, they were enjoying themselves enormously. The fresh morning air couldn't help but brighten up their spirits. Ah, uh, this is a life, ain't it, Dougie? Quite so, Dono. They arrived at a station to have their freight unloaded. As they waited, the D199 came in. The twins did not like the new diesel. Good day to you, too. What do you want? Just being friendly. I'll do it somewhere else. We're very occupied at the moment. Oh, good. Later, 199 found the twins again. They were most annoyed. Oh, that's quite a load of trucks you got. It's because we happen to be very strong. Stronger than you dirty mainland diesels. I remember last time you were here. You were so weak, you couldn't even move. I'll get 15 bucks to get. I have enough for my the bank twins account. Off. 199 was very sad. Donald and Douglas were always very cold with him. The next day, the fat controller had important news for Donald and Douglas. Huh? The old line that leads to the flower mill is going to be restored, and the mill will be turned into a big resort. I need you to take building supplies. Aye, sir. But what about the old bridge on the way? That bridge is indeed old, and will be rebuilt as soon as the resort is complete. But for now, it should be sturdy enough. Just before the China Playworks, there is a junction to an old branch line that was used for transporting flour from Brendan Flour Mill to the docks. It had been closed for over 50 years and was the haven for drug users and other illegal activity. Donald and Douglas were thrilled by the line's naturalistic beauty. The bridge, on the other hand, was very unstable. It creaked and groaned as they chuffed over it. Jesus, like we're crossing toothpicks. Scared it, cat? I'm not. And so, I am not. Stop arguing, you two. Meanwhile, D199 was ranting about the twins to Edward. They're always like that to new diesels. Oh, yeah. Quite a chuckered past the dieselization. If the fat controller had sent one of them away like he had planned to, he would have most likely been scrapped. I've tried to be nice, but they are very vulgar and rude. Now, now, they aren't horrid once you get to know them. They're always skeptical when it comes to outsiders. You should have seen them when Boko arrived. They were very nasty. So it's not just me. It's stereotyping. Those racist black buggers. Excuse me, Mr. Hippocrit, but you were exactly like that when you first arrived. I remember what exactly what you said. Our controller says steam engine spoiler. Well, I... but... Oh, I was a different engine back then. The past is in the past, and I can't do a bloody thing about it. Later, Sir Topham Hatch... He's spoke not wrong. Douglas. You two are doing very well with the flower room, but you do need a little help. So I will send another engine with you. Thank you, sir. Tomorrow, D199 will help you with the goods. The twins growled. The fat controller was very cross. All right, you two. I know that this diesel was very troublesome in the past, but he has reformed and is very hard working. You don't need to be friends with him, but for God's sake, stop tormenting the poor fellow with your rudeness. The twins stayed quiet for at least the evening. The next day, they ignored 199. 199 ignored them. Everything was quiet and stable until 199 accidentally backed up the gun. Ugh, watch it, you heaven hippopotamus! Sorry! You're a pathetic girl off a bridge. 199 was very cross. For the rest of the day, all three engines squabbled and quarreled, creating a very negative atmosphere. How did he not know he was going to do oh, that? I mean, come on! Did you hear something? It sounded like I was too bad, but... Oh, boy, I think... Oh, excuse me! Enough! 
Both of you. Another driver. And up! Both of you! Take another train to the docks. One ninety nine, stay behind. Let's get out of here, Dougie. The more all And with that, the twins hurried off. Oh, the bridge! Slow down! The bridge is straining! But the twins were scared and tried to race across it to the other side. But before they could... Oh, no! Supporting Donald's front, the bridge groaned and creaked from the weight of the train. The bridge is going to fall. Douglas tried to move backwards, but the wood creaked and cracked. Stop! It'll fall if you keep going. It'll fall if we stay on it. Douglas was right. The wood beam snapped and fell into the water. One ninety-nine came to see what was the matter. Oh dear! That bridge is going to fall. Help us, one by nine. Two feet down. Oh, you sat down and treated him. Because I am a changed diesel. The bridge creaked louder and louder and started to bend. The support snapped. 199 did think twice and raced onto it, pushed the twins with all his might. The bridge groaned furiously from the way and started to give way. Donald and Douglas reached the other side just in time. Ah! Oh no! But the diesel did not. The twins had never felt more terrible in their life. We didn't actually want him to fall off the bridge. We were just joking. Edward and the fat controller rushed to the scene. No one was hurt. 199's driver had got out and ran across the bridge. The fat controller was furious at Donald and Douglas. Of course he was. First of all, you two were very careless to race across that bridge. Second, you were very horrid to 199. When we eventually get him out, you will apologize immediately and will be shunting trucks in the yard. Yes, sir. When the diesel was finally rescued at the diesel works, the twins came in to apologize. We're sorry we were so horrid. You really have changed. Thank you for rescuing us. Oh, that's all right. I'm sorry about the way I acted when I first came to the island. Well, that was 48 years ago. I think it's time we put the past behind us. <laughs> Indeed. Shall we be friends from now on? Hi, glad to be my ST199. Oh, uh, please call me Ted from now on. I just can't stand being just a number. Please, call me Ted. Um, very well then, Ted. When the diesel returned from the works, <laughs> he was no longer D199 from the other railway. That's cute! He was Ted. Ted is now a proud member of the Northwestern Railway. Ted still has a lot to learn, but is now a really useful Ted. That was an awesome video. I like that. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is KBear101, signing out. Adios, everybody.